So it's October 1935. We began doing a massive overhaul. Edward J. Emerson had a couple of different marquees. It's Emerson Electric, E Sport, Emerson Grande, Emerson Performance, Emerson Allure, Emerson Motors, Emerson Truck, ETD, Titan Truck, Porsche, and Dove Industries. We have new models that come out every year. Many of our competitors don't necessarily upgrade every year. They keep the same model. We are working on our 1935 with our 1936 models that will be coming out in the next five months or so. Many of our competitors, they are selling older models. Some of them are still on 1920 models. Some of them are still on 1932 models. And so our customers have gravitated towards us primarily because of our safety features and our dependable quality built vehicles. We have started to push the envelope as far as some of our up tier models because those customers are paying a hefty premium for those vehicles. So that would include Emerson Grande, Emerson Performance, and Emerson Allure. By doing that, that allows us to give a better value to majority of our other customers with the notion that as time goes on, that our top tier marquees will also have a reduction in price. Top tier vehicles have opened up the door for more affordable vehicles. And now that there are more affordable vehicles that are selling very well, then in turn, with the volume of sales through the mainstream vehicles, that trickle down effect that happened with the top tier marquees will have a reverse effect where by there being more sales, at the broader market, then the top tier niche markets will have a reduction also as time goes on. What are we upgrading? Our lights, our mirrors, our engines, prices, and our quality has been updated transitioning from the 1929 to 1938 models to the 1939 to the 1948 models. One of the other changes that we decided to make was to look at just what we were offering. Some of our vehicles were out of line with the platform that they were on. And from a design standpoint, there was not enough room for a four-door Phaeton. There's enough interior room to accommodate that. Our Phaetons are generally about 173 inches long and about 69 inches wide. Those vehicles are in line with our large platform. Updating are the names of our vehicles and Dove Industries has been affected by that. So our Coupe 2 Plus 2 is going from a Q2S Coupe to the Q3C coupe. Our Phaeton is going from the Q3S coupe over to the Q5C coupe. And then the full-size sedan, which we just started as of 1935, is going from the Q5S sedan to a Q6S. And then we are adding an additional sedan to the lineup which is not going to premiere until probably 1947, 1948, and that sedan is going to be a Q4S sedan. We also did the same for Emerson Electric. Our solar 
which is our compact sedan, is going to stay the same. But our solar coupe, instead of just carrying on the same name, it's going to be renamed the Molina for 1939. Cyrus is still going to be the Cyrus sedan, which is our electric midsize sedan. Samson is still our truck. Our SUV, instead of being called the Charge, it's going to be called the Ravi. Elio is still our shooting brake. And Chiron is going to be our full size sedan. And then our town car is changing from output to Ariana. And then our van is going from Transmax to Solaris. And we've given our trucks names based upon the mountains in Michigan area. Porsche, we further reviewed some of the plans that they actually had. And with some of the things that are brewing in the background, we may have to move our factory. December of 1935, and we sold off Porsche, and we still have a controlling interest in the company, and our total sales for December, the end of the year, is $216,458,827. Now, we took a rather large stumble when we sold off Porsche. We heavily invested into our Dove Industries. We did adjustment rate on our dividends for our stockholders. And we have been busy designing a lot of vehicles. Partly the reason why we ended up selling off Porsche. With nine different marquees at the moment, we are still at a growing pace where we are getting each brand an identity. And just like Dove Industries, we ended up purchasing that company back and pulling it back into the fold. And now we're able to invest heavily into Dove Industries to make it the world-class company that it can be. At this point, we're not in a position to have two race companies. 